Hey girl, hey. The other day, um, I ran to, I don't know, somewhere over yonder. And I got these. Um, and they, like I drove like an hour and they were so important to me and I got them for 10 bucks and they've just been sitting there in a pile. Because of course they have. Um, because of course they have. So I got these two, these little cactuses and I got one there. So I'll show you what it looks like when they're all set up, but I was going to set them up. And I found this guy here. I think he's called um, Woodjed. Um, oh, yeah. No, I don't think he's called. I think the chicken is called. <laughs> well, that is one milk snake that is not going to be problem. No, helping us with mice. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh. Um, well, sh shit. That sucks. So what oh, happened? Man. What happened? The rocks? I don't know if it was the... It shouldn't have been the rocks. Let's do some CSI investigating and see if we could figure it out. It's not hard yet, though. It could be cold. Yeah, but this back here doesn't look so good. Could have been the goat stomped on him. Uh, yeah, that's not... That's no bueno back here. I wish I had my snake grabber. Because uh, back here is a bit of, like... Goop. Mush. Yeah, it definitely looks like something stepped on him. Well... Maybe not stepped on, but I thought for sure that like, like a peck or something in here. Mm -hmm. Well, sorry little guy. I really need your support here with the mice. Uh, sorry, sweetie. I'm so sorry. Damn, I was going to do this whole thing about milk snakes and how impressive they are for the environment, how important. And then there it is. <laughs> Yeah. Does anybody want to take it into the woods for me? Yeah, sure. sure. Huh? Who wants to? Me. Okay, I'll set these up. Okay. And then you can come back. It's dripping. Mm. Yeah, put them somewhere. It's, uh, you know, respectful. No flinging. Okay. I literally say this about everything. <laughs> it's not done yet. But it's sure looking cute. Well, hey girl. I feel like I gotta put my safety goggles on now when I'm working. It's very much like a, a Hollywood from Mannequin. For, I can't remember his name. Oh, it's not, uh, God, my freaking brain anymore. That's why we have Google. He was the best. Anyway, Hollywood was the best. And so, oh girl, I'm putting on. I don't have a pink Cadillac to go with it, but anyway. Here we have the chicken coop and the little fence that could. The little fence that could. I had been asking, oh my God. So anyway, you know the story. We've been here a year. I can't get any help. And I had wanted the goats to kind of have a pasture and we were gonna work on things. So I think what we're going to do is just make things easier for me. And one of the ways that we're going to do that is like, uh, what do they say? Take down that wall. Take down that fence. Like we're just going to open her up. The girls are free ranging. The goats are free ranging. Everybody knows they're happy, healthy, and safe here. So we're just going to rip all of this out to make it easier to mow. We've moved the greenhouse to hopefully a functional spot. Um... Let's see. Just this morning, we have fed the all the animals, and in less than a half hour, we sacked the wood, cleaned up the yard, moved the greenhouse, fed everyone, and now I'm just gonna rip this out. And it's kind of amazing uh, what what you can do when you have cooperation. So I'm just gonna be out here for a little bit before we go to my appointment, and I think it's gonna be pretty therapeutic. So I'll show you what it looks like when it's done.
Oh, I can't even tell you how much I was yelled at about this fencing and how demanding I am. It feels really good. The guys, one of the things I never had in Costa Rica was uh, the ability to change anything. And so I would just try to do crafts or garden. Um, and I couldn't really, I would build, 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 and it would be destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. Build, 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 destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. And then ultimately he would get the credit for everything. Um, when I am the back bowl. Yeah. So anyway. You were the hammer that he used. Yeah, no shit. So anyway, um, one of the things that I'm really grateful for here is that I have the power to change it. I don't have to have these like statues and, and effigies of trauma everywhere where every goddamn thing, like I had mentioned before, like uh, those spigots. It don't, I don't have to drive in and see like these traumas everywhere. I can twist it and, and fix it and change it and transmute it um, and make it my own. Yeah. Um, and for that, I'm very grateful. For that, I'm very grateful. I know not every woman trapped in a domestic violence situation is as blessed as I am. I know that. Sometimes these things come up, but I just find it, I just find it so interesting how much time you can lose to begging someone for basic human decency <laughs> without even realizing it. Like, it's really, really something, really something. Hello. Watch out, boop, boop. So the wall came down. Et voila. Look how much we can get done when we're just cooperating. And like, if you're going to homestead, it requires effort and work and organization and time management and cooperation and compassion and motivation and being present. Caring and desire, location. Yep. So, good thing I got it in spades. I'm going to take a shower and go to the witch doctor for some healing. Like, ooh ee, ooh ah ah. Here, look, I want to show you something. I uh, haven't had a chance to walk around the property and see how it's changed. I've really been looking forward to the changing of the seasons and I was really looking forward to spring. And seeing what the lilacs did and so much time wasted. Anyway, I see fields and fields and fields of wildflowers growing, which tickles me to no end. But I want to show you. In between the white clover is a little patch of purple clover. And it makes me so happy. I couldn't tell you the last time I saw purple clover. How awesome is that? Hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh, Poppy, you leave them be. Don't.
don't listen to her. She doesn't mean it. Oh, hi, everybody. Hi, are you ready to go in? Bobo, do you say hi to brother? And B. And Betty. Is everybody ready to go in? Pew, 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 pew! Pew, pew, pew! Pew, pew, pew! It's pew, pew, pew! Look, what's everybody think you're doing? <laughs> what's everybody think they're doing? We're outnumbered, my man. <gasps> pew, pew, pew! Let me see. Pew, pew, pew! Oh, baby. You're so funny with your oh my gosh, I was just in the chicken, chicken coop. I have a major day tomorrow of cleaning out the mess um, that is the chicken coop. However, I went to, uh, yeah, get some energy work done today. And I am... Um, Absolutely exhausted, as are you, baby. <laughs> but I think we both feel... I don't know that it was a complete exorcism. But I know that we were able to cry in a safe space and move some emotions and some of the stuff that has been sort of stuck on us darkness negativity um is we we definitely feel lighter that's all i'll say very tired <laughs> i feel like we could both sleep for like a week what do you think <laughs> yo i know but i think tomorrow i am just going to focus on the positive, there is um, another video I want to shoot, unpacking something that kind of hit me like a wave today. We're just kind of walking, as you can see, the land is um, becoming a field of wildflowers and buttercups um, type situations. I've always loved yellow flowers like this. It's like confetti. Like, look behind me. It's a massive bonfire we need to have, but yeah, I mean, it's just the way the ground learns to take back over and the way it's growing in. I know we needed like some kind of York rake, or I called it a York fork, to come through with a tractor and like rake this stuff up, but. Oh yeah, so we don't want the wildflowers to grow yet. It's just going to be what it is. No, we don't, but that's okay. Look how quickly that's what she wants to do. So that's what we're going to let her get all wild. Um, so yeah, we're just going to go walk over here and see, take down our tape, <laughs> um, from the apple trees or whatever that have been saved. It's been such a funky season. I don't even know. I mean, it's June and it's like 60. There were wildfires. We had a little bit of rain yesterday. Um, but for my part, just going to wake up tomorrow, heart-centered, grateful, full of gratitude that we have gotten some yawning, you're making me yawn, that we've gotten some sleep. And I came in, and I've been sitting on the couch with my dogs, coloring. I'll have to show you what I've been coloring. Um, so yeah, my boy and I are just walking around at sunset at like 9.15, waiting, this 9.15 at night. Waiting for the hannies to get into their coop. <laughs> they have some stragglers. <laughs> so, it's been a, a really healing day. I think we have a long way to go. I think we have a long way to go, but um, so much that it's still been choking me. Um, I mean, there was just... I was not even pouring from an empty cup. Like, I was pouring from, like, the shard after the cup, like, falls on the ground. And there's, like, you're just kind of, like, the shard or, like, the Get, like, one drop. Yeah, like, just, you know, little bees. 
So I am uh, just gonna start filling my cup. Like I have a new cup now and I'm grateful for that. And I'm just gonna do that thing. Wow. <laughs> this one goes in our jar. Hearts everywhere. Everywhere. There is magic in them bar hills. <laughs>